this is just completely unacceptable. Let's begin. Now obviously, as everyone knows, the NHS is there for us all. Even the economic boot people that appear to be coming across every day from France, which, you know, last time I checked was a safe country. But that aside, the NHS probably needs a lot more funding, in my opinion. At least if this story from the Daily Star is anything to go by, because they say that a 93-year-old lady was waiting nine hours for an ambulance whilst in pain with a broken leg. That's right, nine hours. And I don't know about you, but I think that's completely disgraceful. And I guess that, that way, it probably would have been quicker for her to walk there on her hands. So, yeah, I'm not obviously suggesting at all that she should have done that. But it just goes to show that the NHS probably needs a big cash injection, even if it is enough to buy just a few more ambulances. Oh, really? Well, how about the £350 million pounds a week from the Brexit fuss? Oh, I hate the smug one. Well, actually, Theresa May... <laughs> Sorry, and that often happens whenever I say a name. But she did announce one good thing, and that was way back in 2018 when she said the government would be given the NHS £384 million a week, which hopefully, at the very least, helped to shut up a few Ramonas at the time. Now, obviously, if you cast your mind back a little while, a lot of us were, and some still are actually, wearing a face snappy due to COVID. And now some madman overseas. Now, I'm not talking about Joe Biden. I'm talking about a guy who I have the sneaky suspicion, at least at some point during his childhood, probably had a post of Hitler on his bedroom wall. But either way, I'm not too sure if the NHS has been receiving, or at least started to receive, the extra £384 million a week, due to the extra unexpected cost associated with these two. Beryl Murray from Birmingham was in agony after her right leg gave way while she attempted to move from her walker to her stairlift on Tuesday afternoon. The pensioner had managed to activate her care line alarm, which notified the ambulance service at 5.22pm, but they had failed to show up until 2.33am the following morning. The alarm also alerted her son Stephen, who's 68, and his wife Wendy, who's 64, who made the 70-mile trip from their home in Stonesfield, Oxford, before paramedics arrived. Well, actually, it's quite good that Beryl had one of those care line alarms, because without it, she may have been waiting even longer. In fact, she possibly might not have been able to even alert anyone at all. However, saying that, there's just no excuse for this, is there? And yes, okay, I know a few of you may say, well, why couldn't her son take her? But he's nearly 70 as it is, so it might have been easier said than done. Plus, it may have made the break even worse if they moved her in the wrong way. So come on, Boris, I know there's a lot going on at the moment, but please find some extra cash so at least these sort of delays hopefully won't happen again in the future. Anyway, to be kept up to date with the latest news, make sure you click that subscribe button down there so you don't miss my next video.